doesn't hurt at all, which is quite bizarre. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, very casual still. Morning. Morning. <laughs> This morning is straight into action. The sky is clear, our morning is here. I'm getting ready, going out for a walk, I'm going to one of the parks, Persian parks. Let's see, not really sure which one yet. Still kind of debating which coffee to go for, but I'm gonna show you what I quickly put on. Just very, very, very casual. And I got my uh, Star Wars t-shirt. I love this t-shirt so much. It's from Etro and uh, purple Pangaya, I guess. I guess at some point I should really do my loungewear blog post or something like this because I really have a lot of loungewear right now. Let's go to the bathroom and let's start getting ready. I have my coffee here. I think I need a hair tie as well. I always start my day, as you guys know, with coffee. This is inevitable. Mm. It's really weird now you can see two of me. But honestly, one thing that I have to say is that this mirror here on the door is the best thing ever because when I'm doing my makeup, I can also see my like uh, side, how well I've done the makeup on the side and the neck around this area here. So that's really, really great. And this morning, Stefan has sent me a little uh, video. Recited by Stefan, poem by Adam Fisher. Thank you. Thank you, Stefan, for this beautiful poem. I'm really loving your recitations lately. Please keep them coming. Okay, so this morning I have already brushed my teeth, I cleansed my skin, I've done my skincare this morning before I made coffee and now I'm just gonna apply SPF 50 even though it's very cloudy. I think SPF is very 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 important, especially if you have the type of skin like I do which uh, pigments easily. I don't want to do a lot of makeup but I have um, just recently purchased the new Huda Beauty foundation, the stick one, so I want to try it because you know that uh, that new makeup feeling. I will link it below where you can get it, but this is what it looks like. Is it gonna even, yeah. I love trying new stuff, so new foundation feeling is the best. Should I do this with a brush or with the sponge? I always use these Real Technique um, sponges. I prefer them so much more to the Beauty Blender ones. And um, I actually don't, I mean, when I say I always, I mean always when I actually do use the sponge because most of the time I use the brush, so. Just want like a little bit of coverage, but not too much. Okay, I'm trying to change the light so that you can see it better. And I can also look at myself in the viewfinder so that I can do it. I'm using my lash serum. Even after I wash my face, I get like white on the lashes, like a residue from the serum, but it's all good. The foundation shade I'm in, I used the one that I was matched to at Selfridges and it's the toasted coconut one. That's it. I like it. It's very natural. Favorite Laura Mercier Soleil 2 bronzer. Do this. This is going to be my quarantine makeup. Like, I like to have a bronzy face, but clean. I like to apply a bit here to add warmth to my face. A bit of a jawline, and then I, I put it down so that there is no awkward line. That's it. I'm gonna use the Dior uh, Backstage. This is like the corally one. That's all I'm gonna have on my face. One more thing that I got recently is the new Huda Beauty palette. It's called Noti. This is what it looks like inside. Look at these colors. It's really like a candy, I would say. Never tried it before. I was waiting for you guys. So, shall we do that together? I want something very natural. Um, it's like a walk in the park and a coffee little session. So I'm probably gonna be using these taupey colors. Let's start with this one called Rough. And yeah, I know I need to do something with my eyebrows. Oh, it's very pigmented. I didn't expect it to be that pigmented, but just applying it on the bottom lid. This is all I'm gonna do for the eyeshadow. I'll show you why. Well, actually, not completely true. This one I've been using for the inner corners, but it's quite a lot. So what I do is I apply a little bit on my index finger, and then I rub it in between my fingers, and then I do this. It's the same. One question I get asked all the time is what's my nail polish color? It's these two over here from Chanel. I will link them below so you guys can check them out. This is the base, this is the 
color and I have got a new console I just got this one from Ikea because I think it's much better I organized it inside as well over the last few days this is as well what lockdown does to you so now I've organized everything in these little compartments and everything is so easy to find and there's no chance it will get messy because um, you know everything has its own place and so on so I really like it this way but besides that I have a little set of drawers uh, just with the makeup and I'm still in process of more re reorganization of this but I will give you a little tour of my essentials in Paris this is where we stand with the makeup still need to do my eyebrows I'm gonna do a little bit of soft liner like the, with the with the pencil and mascara and that's it for my eyebrows I always use Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow wiz I unfortunately will have to look in the mirror but this is what I do I just do like uh, motions like this and then I'll show you how it turned out there we go eyebrows done except that they're a bit messy but I, I, I like them a little messy and I need to kind of like tidy this part up which I will do now I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, and so what I do is I just do like very close to the lash corner and I don't touch this part here there's the outer corner and then I smudge it out a little bit with my finger that way I get like a more natural finish and then mascara and I will show you everything I've done once it's over okay guys so the makeup is done I'm gonna make it a bit closer to the eye like look at this mascara though this mascara is insane I'm gonna leave a link to um, the description box what mascara it is because I always always forget the exact name what you will notice that I'm doing now that I have not done before is I apply a bit of um, like a dark kind of pencil over the inner corner of my eye but not here so it like the liner starts from here and then just here because it makes the eye appear longer like more almond shaped when you look at it I don't know if you will notice that but I really really like that and with that there is a little trick I used to try to achieve that look but it's actually quite difficult to get it because it gets quite messy in the inner corner there but what you need to do is like we all have those well at least I have them and I suppose other people do as well uh, baby hairs in the inner corners like the baby eyelashes what you need to do a makeup artist told me you need to pluck those baby eyelashes from the inner corners because you they just accumulate um, like uh, the gunk from the eye and stuff like that so just pluck those in and that live allows you more uh, makeup precision as well it doesn't hurt at all which is quite bizarre and then on my lips I got a code 8 this is like a crayon I guess I don't know I will link it below this is it and the lip pencil to make them look a bit plumper in strip down that's it let's get dressed i actually have a new pair of boots here that i haven't shown you yet my boots are kind of starting to get together um but i want to show you these because i really really needed something in this color i have another actually pair of boots coming so i have boots which are like sort of caramel color i have the navy i have the black but I needed a white. When it comes to white boots, I have to say I'm not a super fan of white boots. I know they're a big trend this and last season, but somehow I don't think they look that great on me. Maybe they look better on blondes. Et voila. They are the Bottega boots, the same one that I have in black. Kind of same one, except that these are last season. These are the current season. I really think they're so freaking cool. Look at the see-through see -through sole, then the black around, and then the white. So I think they're a bit cooler than the most i have um two more pairs actually of boots coming one are like the flat kind of uh, cognac color i believe yeah and one are sort of more grayish but that will have to stay for the next video i think or even the one after i don't know when they're gonna arrive i have quite a few new nice pieces as well but now I'm gonna get dressed, head to the park, I have my second coffee of the day. In order to leave the house I have to fill out like a form. But I also have a paper from my agency uh, and from my company which allows me to actually leave house for like for example taking pictures. If I want to take a picture at, I don't know, um, let's say in Marea which is more than one kilometer away from where I live, then I would be able to go with that paper. When I do these little things I try like uh, not to really... 
um, stay out long also. I'm such a home person. It's so weird because I would never be able to live in a village. I would never be able to live in like a middle of nowhere. I'm very, very city girl. I've always lived in a city. I guess where I come from as well, growing up in a, you know, like, I guess it's just how it is with me as a person. But at the same time, I am quite happy at home. So for me, I am a home person, but I'm also a very social person. Does that make sense? I'm not quite sure. Th this, no, oh no, 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 this is not, that's not what, that's not what it is. See, okay, I work in fashion. It's a beautiful day. Like, honestly, it does not feel like it's November at all. I'm wearing a total white. I realize I never show you my outfit, but I'll try to uh, fix that. Showing you a little bit of Paris during lockdown. Very quiet. I mean, on top of that, it is the weekend, so it's quiet. But it's so beautiful. Just the little dogs walking, going to the park. So stunning. Okay, I forgot to tell you that the mask I'm wearing is from my friend. She designs masks. I have so many different ones. I will leave like a description below. She gifted me like millions because we're friends and she just brought them. I love them because I have a different mask to wear with diff like a different outfit. Her name is Monica Sarti. So yeah, she makes the scarves as well and uh, masks and I love that. They're so comfortable on the face. That's what I love so much because for me I like it starts hurting me behind the ears when I wear a mask for a too long time so another reason not to stay out we officially going to Palais Royale and hoping that Cafe Kitsune is open for a coffee and then some pictures not sure if you all watched my uh, favorite spots in Paris but this is one of it the Palais Royale even if you come here for like let's say a like few hours a little break there's so much to do because there's the Palais Royale and then there's the park, there's the Jardin, so oh, love it. As many of you know, there's also my favorite coffee place there. And uh, if you're an Emily in Paris fan, this is where they filmed a lot of it. Oh my god, I feel like Nicole Kidman in Moulin Rouge. It's quite a particular place like it. There are two coffee shops that I'm obsessed with the coffee in Paris. One, this is one of them. Okay, just a little moment here. I feel so blessed to be able to enjoy this. Honestly, you guys, I know it's such a cliche, but you'll be fine. I can take my mask off now because I'm about to have my coffee. I feel so blessed and so lucky to be actually spending the lockdown in Paris because in Paris, the moment I leave the house, I feel like it's so beautiful like this city is filled with love and beauty and passion the light is so special the it's sunny the weather is beautiful but i will be going to london at some point soon i don't know yet all the details as soon as i do i'll let you know actually i'm kind of happy with how the makeup turned out today let me know what you think i get a lot of requests to do a makeup tutorial but i do do them in my kind of vlogs like very often and i have one very big question for you that i also asked you last night on the stories and that is what should we do for vlogmas this year i feel like my vlogmas is they were kind of like good because there was a lot of travel involved there was a lot of action there was a lot of my friends involved as well and i really enjoyed showing you that part of my life this year there's not gonna be much socializing even around the christmas unfortunately and i'm not the one to be like uh, redecorating house and i don't know cooking and baking oh please cooking soothes me which is what you guys have suggested me to do during vlogmas to bake cookies <sighs> so digging i mean i could do it but there's a big risk i need to like uh, increase my insurance to burning down the kitchen kind of insurance because i'm not a great cook i could do maybe one or two videos but the rest there's like 25 days or 24 days of vlogmas what should i do so let me know in the comments below what you would like to see now let's have our coffee and let's enjoy this beautiful saturday morning so we like uh, came to the park and randomly ran into some friends that we're socially distanced from and they brought teddy hi teddy rah, rah, rah. i love hi. this place hi. so much we ran into some friends so it was really nice like it was quite accidental but quite beautiful 
Ah, the rose garden still looks beautiful even in November. Okay, book shop next. I remember I told you that I will show you what I'm wearing. I'll actually link everything below, but I'm taking my YSL Solferino bag for the first time out and a whole winter white outfit. Um, we made it to the bookstore and honestly I cannot wait to explore more because this is the best. Let's see this section. WH Smith visit complete successfully. I have uh, my books here. I'll show you when we get home. And uh, oof, too sunny. The one thing that I have noticed is that the bookshops are open in Paris, which is quite nice because that's the entertainment I need right now. It seems like it's a dog day. Everyone's taking their dog out. We're now at Place Concorde. Ah, such a really, like I know I probably said it so many times in this video, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful day. But it's also so empty that it's a little bit surreal. Look at that. Like really, this is normally full of traffic. It's packed. Honestly guys, I am loving today's outfit. These boots are the best purchase. I'm so, so, so happy with them. So yeah, love them. Home sweet home. I am starving, haven't had any food yet today, just a coffee or two coffees, but you know, that's a norm for me. It's around 1.30ish, I believe, or maybe even two already. So yeah, it's time to eat lunch, to show you my books, to get relaxed into comfies and to enjoy the weekend. I also wanted to say something. Uh, yes, yesterday I posted in my stories that it was a lockdown nightmare when the Netflix is not working because our TV was not connecting to internet. And I said, uh, that's a lockdown nightmare because I mean, a lockdown should be all about Netflix, watching the movies, enjoying, as of course, working on yourself. And of course it was a joke and no one took it wrong, but I did put a disclaimer. I said, this is the lockdown nightmare. I feel blessed, it's a joke, just kidding, you know, because I find it that during the lockdown, uh, specifically during this year, um, a lot of people get really, really upset when you say something like that. And it is a very insensitive joke and I get that. I think it's quite um, insensitive to say like uh, that the lockdown nightmare is Netflix not working when there are people losing their jobs, when there are people losing their loved ones. I think that's the, like, I get pain in the stomach when I think about that. Like really, honestly, it's something so difficult and heavy. And for me, it's just to think about all the pain that the world is going through right now, I have to say and I have to remind so many of you how grateful you need to feel right now if you're not losing your job and if you're not losing a loved one and not to be resentful toward things because um, you just really need to feel blessed and feel really lucky and I do, I honestly do so much and I understand how blessed I am and my heart goes out to all the people that are really suffering especially with mental health illnesses like depression which I think is such a big topic and it should be even bigger topic in 2020 because people in isolation who already are suffering can really take this so hard. And I feel like my job is to be here for you guys to kind of lift the spirits, to make things a little bit more cheerful, a bit fun. And sometimes also my humor is a little bit out of line, but it's how I am. And sometimes my humor comes from privilege, which is of course um, not really funny. Uh, I guess to everybody but I kind of wanted to address that I know that many of you say like we don't want disclaimers we don't want like so many disclaimers and this is not a disclaimer this is just me saying that sometimes I say things but it does not mean that I'm not aware of what's going on in the world I just like to kind of almost like pretend that actually everything is fine is the way I also deal with difficult times to say like the biggest nightmare of lockdown is Netflix not working of course it's not like you also have to understand that a lot of my jobs got cancelled I'm also kind of you know sometimes struggling that I cannot I mean I haven't seen my father in so long I cannot see my parents whenever I want to I cannot go see my nephews my sister whenever I want to it's like a big thing that's taken away from me so of course it's not the biggest nightmare of the lockdown it's just that you know sometimes I like to convince myself that everything's fine because that's how I deal with things and we're all different let me know in the comments below if you understand what I'm trying to say and 
if you guys sometimes feel the same. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tomorrow's book club. Um, I didn't book buy many, many books because I went for the quality over quantity as per usual. The first book I picked was the Oscar Wilde. <sighs> Honestly, it's a compendium of previously ungathered anecdotes, epigrams, asides and accounts. And I'm so excited for this. For me, Oscar Wilde is one of the most brilliant minds ever. I would say if you ask me my two favorite books, now, well, my number one favorite books, books, I get so excited about some things and then when I speak, so many lapsus come out and uh, yeah, I think lapsus is the plural of lapsus, right? It's a Latin word, so lapsus lingua for sure. What I was trying to say is that my favorite book is the uh, Sica Doriana Grea or the Picture of Dorian Gray, I believe it would be in English. I read it in my final year of high school when I lived in Serbia and I think it completely left such an incredible stamp on who I am as a person and it taught me a lot, it kind of broadened my mind in a way and I never think that books do that, you know, that they don't really leave such a strong impression but that one did and another book that really also shaped me a lot which I also read when I was 17 was Herman Hesse uh, Damien that was just uh, really really incredible I, I would think because i was in a developing stage i wasn't even 17. i would i don't know i remember i was reading it in barcelona when i was doing my spanish so around that age oscar wilde for me is the most brilliant person like i mean i don't know i just love reading his thoughts his quotes and i think this book will be such an easy read but so beautiful and inspiring so i was really excited when I saw this. The second one that I read was recommended to me by Jürgen because we randomly ran into Ksenia and Jürgen at uh, the park because we always go to the same park to have coffee at the Kitsune. We always used to and we, always, we still do. So uh, we ran into them, we found out the bookshop was open and they headed to the bookshop as well. So uh, Jürgen recommended me a book called Bad Blood, it's Secrets and Lies in a Silicon Valley Startup. I've heard so much about this and it's just so incredible. I would like to read the story. He said it's really brilliant and kind of shocking at the same time. And the last one that I got is called Hyper Focus, How to Work Less and Achieve More. I think focus is actually secret behind every success, like how focused you are on something or while doing something. Focus is something I believe like a muscle. You need to kind of work on it. You need to develop it, you know, like a little bit like discipline. Focus doesn't come just out of nowhere. I remember when I was in elementary school, I used to do, in high school, I used to do drama. And in drama, they teach you how to stay focused even with so many distractions. Like there are 20 people distracting you and you're reading a book, like a page. And then at the end, you need to say what you just read. And I can read or study or sleep or do my things in, in a club. I can study in a club with like loud music, with so many distractions. It's so difficult to distract me because I feel like I have quite a focused mind. But then when it comes to some things like uh, focus and procrastination, those are the things that I need to like connect a little bit. Uh, better in my head to understand how on certain occasions when I don't want to be focused I have to be disciplined to get focused I don't know if this makes any sense but this for me makes so much sense when I'm working because I analyze how I work a lot and I want to use this lockdown period to really work on myself on like my inner self because I feel like right now I'm in such a good mental place um, I feel very strong mentally and emotionally. I'm not like, like last year this time, I was not so strong emotionally. Like right now, I'm so strong. I am, I know who I am. I'm very, I've never been stronger emotionally and mentally, but I need to really work on myself, on my habits, on my focus, on my discipline. That's the point that I really need to force myself to do stuff because right now during the lockdown, during the COVID situation, there is not much pressure on um, work, I suppose, because it's a very different time. So I want to learn how to be hyper-focused. That's my goal. We're gonna have lunch now, I'm starving. And my boyfriend wants something that I normally prepare and I want something that he normally prepares. So we're gonna cook for each other because we want different things. So yeah, let's do this. 
quick casual change of an outfit of the day so I um, got these I don't know like a few days ago in post and I just took them out of the wash they just dry it's a cashmere blend mix style uh, loungewear and it's quite soft and nice and I wanted to show it to you it's from H&M I will link it below I've ordered actually quite a bit of loungewear because I think in these days I will need more loungewear and more stuff to feel quite cozy and cute at home I don't like to be at home looking like a slob it makes me feel less productive and chic I also ordered another knit let me show you here we go it's this one and I can't even show you how cute it is it's like a ripped grayish like a brownish gray knit um i really 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 like it a lot and um yeah it's basically one of those things that are not too expensive it's also a cashmere wool blend quite a basic piece in the wardrobe and i'm sure i will wear this one a lot uh, like i said i ordered a few other sets so let me know if you want me to show you those kind of more homey pieces and i will but one more thing i wanted to show you is let me find another hobby i ordered a large kind of beauty parcel that arrived i'll show you all i got yeah let's do it now so few of the things that i have ordered i have here i don't know why i think my boyfriend just didn't know where to place them and he was sick of them lying around so he put them here we have this thing where we try to recycle the packaging as soon as it arrives if i'm keeping something and we got rid of all the packaging so i don't have any more of the uh, boxes to show you but all the links will be below this is the derma flash what do you call this I don't know but I'm super obsessed with these like a skincare tools as you guys know already and this one is like sort of a cleanser like you, you kind of clean your skin pores really well it vibrates and it extracts the dirt from the pores and then there's another mode which you do for infusing the serum into the skin so it's like a, it's a skincare tool that I have not tried using yet but I will from today I will start using it I'm first gonna watch YouTube tutorials um, explaining and stuff and another thing I ordered it was always sold out always sold out um, and it's quite pricey but I am very excited to try it it is also derma flash not sponsored but all of these things with more money it is another tool but it comes with kind of like um, something that looks like a razor I do not shave my face I've never shaved my face I know it's a big trend in different parts of the world I clearly don't even know how to use this let's see if I don't cut myself hopefully but I have a tool like this that I got from Korea that is just a handheld tool this is from what I can see something that has a button at the back this one has a button at the back and clearly is also electronic but it also comes with two little tubes for cleansing and moisturizing you were supposed to use this for like the peach fuzz on the face it exfoliates and gets rid of the peach fuzz risky 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 for me so i don't know what to think please let me know if you've ever done anything like that i'm super curious to hear about it but skincare is such a large and important component of everything that i do that i wanted to try them out i also got two products from ncla which is a brand new that i've never really discovered before i'm going to show them to you now let's go together so over here actually i have a lip scrub which tastes like vanilla i believe they come in no peach they come in so many different um, flavors like birthday cake unicorn stuff like that i don't know this is what it looks like and i really Really love it also on uh, this on the same occasion I ordered the Huda foundation that I used in the tutorial this morning as well as the eye palette and uh, from this brand and CLA oh this is so divine it feels really gentle on the lips you can't even see it but it feels very gentle and moisturizing on the lips on the same occasion I got the cuticle oil that i've already used so much of because honestly this is the best cuticle oil i've ever used in my life this one is the watermelon, watermelon sugar i want to say flavor but it's not the flavor of scent and again comes so many different scents i also ordered the olaplex oil which is the number seven bonding oil i heard that this is insane for keeping your hair healthy and that's very important to me as you guys know i ordered <laughs> Uh, Coco and Eve Glow Figure Body Moisture Whip. This is so hydrating. I mean, okay, in all honesty, nothing is like the Kiehl's 
uh, Crème de Corp. I will also insert my favorite ever all-time body moisturizer in the description box below because it is the best. Nothing compares to Kiehl's, guys. So it will be the first link that I will put in my beauty links because it's the best. And if you're gonna buy one, get that. Oh, I got um, a candle, which is the Labo Santal. I love that candle so much. Really, really, really recommend it. I think I'm gonna make myself a tea. I love rooibos. And hello to all of my South African followers. Every time I drink rooibos, you guys tell me that this is such a South African um, tea to have. I love it. I love rooibos tea. And I'm gonna watch, I think, another episode of How to Get Away with Murder because it's Saturday and I don't need to really do much except um, work on this video. But other than that, all good. I'm already on fifth season of How to Get Away with Murder. It's so good. I'm so obsessed that it's like... How to get away with murder. Almost like can't wait for it to be over so that I can finally say okay. And we just have to get creative. Now I can do something else <laughs> because until then I'm obsessed. I wake up in the morning with theories. It makes my brain really like uh, think about potential things and it makes me more creative when I'm always thinking about solutions and things to do. Wow, it's late. It's almost midnight and I realized I never really kind of vlogged in the afternoon after coming home. Right now, all I'm gonna tell you guys is that I'm gonna kind of get ready, have shower, remove my makeup and stuff like that, go and sleep, and then tomorrow I will um, show you what I'm doing. We're just making some plans if we're gonna go for a little walk and a coffee again, because today was such a beautiful day, and I think tomorrow will be a beautiful day too, so it's really nice to enjoy this winter sun. So that's it for today. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys another day another morning at the same place except that today i'm looking slightly bit worse than yesterday i love this t-shirt it's i've spoken about it actually last month it's um a gift from isoma because it is their charity work in collaboration with copperfield that is a little reminder to check your breasts for breast cancer. We're going for coffee again, same place as yesterday, because most other cafes are actually closed when it comes to the ones that we like. So, coffee, makeup, I'm gonna get dressed, I'll show you what I'm wearing, and let's go. Okay guys, the makeup is ready, I just wanted to show you a close-up of what I've done. I've done exactly the same as what I've done yesterday, including the inner corner um, highlight. Wait, there's a bit of smudge here. Same mascara, same everything, foundation, blush, contour, so I didn't want to show you how I do this exact same thing again, except that I used a different eye palette today. I'm still thinking whether or not I should create a little makeup room in the other uh, bathroom, because we never actually use the other bathroom, so maybe I'll do a little get ready room there. This is the palette that I used for uh, today's kind of bottom shadow, and I used Sultan and Sundown mixed, which are these two colors. Sultan and Sundown on the kind of like a bottom lid, just a bit in the cor inner corners. Lobotan again, and a bit of highlighter, and uh, same, everything else is the same. So now I'm gonna go get ready, and we're heading to the park. I'm super excited. I have so many new in items over here um, that I'm gonna show you in the next video, most likely. Today I have to organize it, everything, and I think I'm gonna film the video tomorrow so that you can watch it on most likely Wednesday. Look of the day today is going to be this, except with the black potato boots i'll show you when it's ready i decided to go for my i think Birkin 25 unless i really feel like wearing something crossbody but um i'm wearing the new h m knit it's really nice and comfy are you singing that to me okay guys i was actually going to wear something else i wanted to wear my prada black coat the puffy one but it's actually not that cold so i wanted to dress up and wear the sock spots uh, sage coat in my last reel i believe the one that was shot uh with a revolving door i don't know if you guys have seen it if not go on my instagram check it out now because i think you're gonna like it it's one of my favorites that i have done i wore this coat and i got a lot of questions where is it from so yeah i will try and find it link you below if not yeah so you know the real creation is my favorite part at the moment of well i love vlogging as well Anyway, I love creating reels even more than Instagram pictures because I think that's so much fun. 
we get so creative the brainstorming sessions are fun everything is fun the creative process is fun uh, facilitating them to happen are fun and the results are amazing because it's so fun because at the moment I have three videos that Instagram has actually featured on their explore page um, which for me is like quite a big success like I mean you can see but it says there they're featured not only that for me it's a big success and kind of like approval of like knowing that you guys like what I'm doing and I'm getting a lot of uh, comments about the creativity and you guys are saying you like them but it's also really nice to know that um, you know like I'm getting like new followers and new people are getting to know what I'm doing and new people are appreciating as well but more than anything I appreciate so much the people who have followed me from the beginning because that means so much to me and I have I cannot even explain so yeah feeling so grateful and emotional lately anyway let's go to the park before my boyfriend kills me another day and we're back here again I wanted to show you the rose garden yesterday that I mentioned because I realized I haven't actually shown it oh, like I don't know it's just really relaxing and beautiful and just looking at all of this nature really anti like I don't know de-stresses me because you start feeling very connected with nature you know and disconnected from all the digital world coffee's here I used to suffer with anxiety back in the day when um, I was at university actually I had like a few kind of bad moments and I really learned how to disconnect from those thoughts and how to be truly truly happy like chronically happy and positive and how to uh, not let those anxious thoughts get to me by connecting to other things that matter more for example when I'm in the nature I really like to look at the stuff the bigger picture and that really helps me feel peaceful uh, I don't know I'm I'm feeling very very fulfilled lately so I guess that's also a big contributor to that it's actually very very sunny hopefully you can see me I cannot see anything that's on the screen Mm, the most delicious coffee, oat milk latte and the view on fountain which is not working but it's just like flat water but I'm the person that um, water really calms me down this is really like now going to be sounding creepy but Mary Diamond she's like a specialist in um, many different things but between other like besides other things also um, Feng Shui and she's told me that me being close to water and water in general is really really beneficial she even said that I should have like a fountain in the house because uh, water for me is a very good thing for my soul and it's so funny because my whole life I've lived by the water in my hometown my hometown is on Danube um, obviously I've lived in Brighton for so long which is by the sea and I've always lived like one street away from the sea and uh, right now I like love going to the sand but also even this for me is such heaven I love it, it's so soothing, so beautiful. I've learned actually a lot from that, um, from the Feng Shui specialists. I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff, let me know what you think. For me it's just quite interesting. I need to put my mask back on and heading home because today is YouTube upload the day, so I have to go home and upload this video. Let's do this. Home sweet home, that was so nice. Now it's time for brunch at home. I'm gonna have Eggs, salmon, hummus, avocado, tomatoes kind of thing. So warm all of a sudden. Who would have said it's 8th of November? Um, as I said, I'm going to tidy the mess right now. Get into the comfy clothes and uh, get going with this vlog. Because it's already going live in like 3 hours. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye!